Hello, welcome to Prescription for Health. We are excited to have you join us this year. My name is Grace and I am the Prescription for Health Assistant Program Coordinator. In this video, I will give you a brief overview of the 2022 program and will walk you through this year's enrollment packet to help you understand what's included in the packet and how to use what's inside. Prescription for Health is a Washtenaw County Health Department program that connects patients and clients from several clinics and agencies to the farmers markets. This program is generously funded by Trinity Health. In your enrollment packet, you will find paper tokens and these provide you the opportunity to purchase fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and fruit and vegetable plants and seeds. This program runs from June through December. Fruits and vegetables are an important part of a healthy lifestyle as they are filled with vitamins, minerals, fiber, and nutrients that are important for good health. People that eat a healthy diet high in fruits and vegetables have a reduced risk of developing chronic disease and other health conditions. We hope you enjoy participating in the Prescription for Health program. Now I'll go over the enrollment packet and the materials that are included inside. First, I will walk you through the welcome letter. And then I will walk you through the farmer's market summary sheet. So the welcome letter provides an overview of what is in the enrollment packet and has Ariane and I's contact information. The first page of the farmer's market summary sheet gives you an overview of the tokens and how they work, which I'll cover later in this video. You will also see a list of this year's participating locations. You can spend your tokens at any of the farmer's markets and farm stands listed. They are the Chelsea Farmer's Market, Growing Hope's Ypsilanti Farmer's Markets, Pittsfield Township Farmer's Market, the Farm at Trinity Health Ann Arbor Campus Farm Stand, Nemeth Greenhouse and Farms Farm Stand, and Zilke Vegetable Farm. Further into the summary sheet, you'll find information for each participating farmer's market and farm stands. Each room provides the address and a map to show you where they are located. You'll also find the dates and times each one is open for the season. Some of the farmer's markets have online ordering options, but this would need to be pre-arranged with market staff prior to online ordering and pickup. You can online order with the Chelsea Farmers Market, Ypsilanti Farmers Market, and the Pittsfield Township Farmers Market. Information for online ordering can be found by each location listed in the summary sheet. It's also important to note that each market lists the last day you can spend your tokens there. So Prescription for Health runs from June through December, and although the tokens expire on December 31st, 2022, some locations will close before that date. So it's important to remember that program details as well as farmers markets and farm stand information are subject to change. So I recommend following the participating farmers markets and farm stands on their social media, websites, blogs, and subscribe to the newsletter. This way you can get lists of vendors and items available if the farmers market and farm stands share this information, as well as information about closures or any changes that may occur. This information is available in the blue boxes next to each participating location in the farmers market summary sheet. If you flip through the packet, you will see each farmer's market listed and the dates and times they are open. The Chelsea Farmer's Market is open on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Palmer Commons at the address 304 South Main Street in Chelsea, Michigan. The last day to spend your tokens there is October 29th. The Chelsea Farmer's Market is also open on Wednesdays from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Chelsea State Bank parking lot at 1010 South Main Street in Chelsea, Michigan. The last day to spend your tokens here is October 26th. You can also spend your tokens at the Ypsilanti Farmer's Market. The Ypsilanti Farmer's Market in Depot Town is open on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Freight House Market Plaza at 100 Rice Street in Ypsilanti, Michigan. The last day to spend tokens here is October 29th. The Ypsilanti Farmer's Market downtown is also open on Tuesdays from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. at Ypsilanti Farmer's Marketplace at 16 South Washington Street in Ypsilanti, Michigan. The last day to spend your tokens here is October 25th. The Pittsfield Township Market Farmer's Market is another participating location that is open on Thursdays from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the Pittsfield Township Administrative Building parking lot at 6201 West Michigan Avenue in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The last day to spend tokens here is September 29th. Next is the Farm at Trinity Health Ann Arbor Campus Farm Stand. This is open on Wednesdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. The address is 5301 McAuley Drive in Ypsilanti, Michigan. The farm stand is located inside the hospital lobby. And the last day to spend your tokens here is October 26th. 
Another location is Nemeth Greenhouse and Farms Farm Stand, located at 4260 Willis Road in Milan, Michigan. It's open every day, 24 hours a day, and is self-service. The last day to spend tokens here is November 30th. And finally, the last location is the Zilke Vegetable Farm, located at 12491 Carpenter Road in Milan, Michigan. It's open every day until Labor Day from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then following Labor Day, it's open Saturdays and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. They do offer after hours, but after hours will only be self-service. Hours may change, so please ask the Zilke Vegetable Farm staff. The last day to spend tokens here is October 31st. If you're not familiar with farmers markets, I'm going to share a little bit about how they work. You'll see many stands or tents at the farmers market, each one selling various homegrown or homemade items. Most items are grown or made in Michigan. Most of the people selling these items are the farmers themselves, who grow the fruits and veggies, or family members, or farm workers. They are very friendly and knowledgeable and love to talk about what they do, what they grow, how to use it, how long it will stay fresh, where it comes from, how it's grown, etc. They love when you ask questions about their fruits and veggies. So if you don't know what something is or how to use it, ask. Part of the great thing about a farmer's market is being able to talk to the person who actually grows the food. Many past participants have shared how they love developing a relationship with the farmers who grow the food they eat and learning about it. Sometimes multiple farmers are selling the same items, so prices, options, variety, etc. are different at each stand. The produce you will generally see out on the table are the prettiest produce, also known as the firsts. Seconds is a term used for produce that is edible but may have a blemish. Seconds are cheaper. You can ask the farmers if they have any seconds. So a good tip is to take a lap around the market each time you visit just to scope out the produce options and prices before buying. This way you won't buy something and then be upset when you find it for cheaper at a different stand. And different fruits and veggies come into seasons at different times of the year. What's there one week may be gone the next. If there's something special you love or are looking for, ask a farmer when it comes into season so you know when you can expect to be able to buy it. Or if there's something you love that is currently available, ask about how long it's available for so you know how long you'll be able to keep buying it. We are so excited to have our community health workers back in person this year at some of our participating farmers markets. The prescription for health community health workers will be at the Chelsea Farmers Market, the Growing Hopes Ypsilanti Farmers Markets, and Pittsfield Township Farmers Market through October 15, 2022. There will be a prescription for health table at the farmers market. Look for the tablecloth with the prescription for health symbol, which is a tomato stethoscope. The table may not be the same in the same spot every week, so look out for the tablecloth with the prescription for health symbol. At least one of our community health workers will be sitting at the table ready to help you, provide you with support and resources, talk with you about your goals and progress towards them, talk about what fruits and veggies you are buying and how you are cooking them, and answer any questions you may have. The community health workers are very familiar with many resources in the community, not just fruit and vegetable related. So feel free to chat with them or ask questions about any concerns you may have. The community health workers will also be doing follow-up calls to see how the program is going and how you're doing in terms of working towards your goals, so you can expect to hear from them periodically throughout the program. The Prescription for Health program and staff provide general information, direct questions you have related to your health to your personal doctor. Now I want to talk about additional health resources that are available to you. There's a binder at the Prescription for Health Community Health Worker table full of recipes highlighting produce available at the market. Feel free to browse and take copies. The farmers are also great resources for information and ideas about how to cook and use their fruits and veggies too, so don't hesitate to ask them. There are also binders at the Prescription for Health Community Health Worker table full of information about community resources, spice guides, information about how to store fruits and vegetables to increase their shelf life, information about chronic diseases, etc., and more. Feel free to browse and take copies of the sheet you'd like. Many farmers markets accept the bridge card, which is also known as EBT, SNAP, or food stamps. If you have a bridge card, you can use it to buy any bridge card or SNAP eligible foods at the farmers market, it's not just fruits and vegetables. Just visit the main farmer's market table to swipe your bridge card and get your bridge card tokens to spend. 
Farmers markets that accept the bridge card also often participate in a program called Double Up Food Bucks. For this program, for every dollar of your bridge card you choose to spend, you get an extra dollar to use on Michigan-grown fruits and vegetables, and you can get up to $20 extra per market day. In other words, you get double whatever amount of your bridge card you spend. For example, you use $8 from your EBT card, you can get an additional $8 to purchase Michigan-grown fruits and vegetables. So visit the main farmer's market table to get your Double Up Food Bucks. And you can find out more at doubleupfoodbucks.org. And the first page of the summary sheet also shows which farmer's markets accept the bridge card and Double Up Food Bucks. We also know transportation can be a barrier to getting to the farmer's market. At the Prescription for Health Community Health Worker table, we have a limited supply of Ann Arbor Area Transportation Authority slash the ride, full fare and half fare tokens, and script passes for those needing transportation help. We are so excited to return with special events this year. Inside your enrollment packet, you'll find a flyer that lists the special events happening this year. We will be hosting these events July through October. Special events will happen once a month at three different farmers markets. These include the Ypsilanti Farmers Markets, the Chelsea Farmers Markets, and Pittsfield Township Farmers Market. You can attend any location you'd like to. Each month will be a different topic, so come to the farmers market to learn more and receive a giveaway item. Next, we'll go over the Prescription for Health newsletter, which you will find on the back of the special events flyer. The first one is the June edition. Each one will contain Prescription for Health news and updates, seasonal produce information, recipes, and more. The monthly newsletter will be available at special events and on the Participant Information tab of the Prescription for Health website. Now we'll look at the activity sheet. So each activity will explain a focus topic, either nutrition, fitness, or health related, and then we'll have a corresponding activity to go along with it. In this enrollment packet, you'll find the activity to be about reading the nutrition label. The front of the page gives you a quick overview and information on learning to read the label. And then the activity on the back corresponds with this topic. And in this case, it's a nutrition label scavenger hunt. So each month, a new activity will be available at the special events and uploaded to the Participant Information tab of the Prescription for Health website, along with new monthly newsletters and goal tracking sheets. Next is a goal tracking sheet and learning about SMART goals. As a part of Prescription for Health, we want to help you set goals that encourage a healthy lifestyle. So you have the current month's goal tracking sheet in your enrollment packet. Goal tracking sheets for June through December, as well as a blank version for you to use after the program ends, will be available at special events and on the Participant Information tab of the Prescription for Health website, which is at washtenaw.org slash prescription for health. On these goal tracking sheets, you can set monthly goals as well as weekly goals for the month. And so we want you to set SMART goals, and this stands for setting goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. There's more information on the SMART goal tracking sheet in your enrollment packet. You will see some examples listed that may help you think of a pers a personal goals you want to set for yourself. An example of a monthly goal would be to walk for 30 minutes per day, five days per week. And then you set weekly goals to reach your monthly goal. For example, perhaps the first week your goal is to walk 10 minutes per day, five days a week. Then you can build up to your monthly goal of 30 minutes per day, five days per week. And so these goals can be nutrition, fitness, or mental health focused, whatever types of goals you want to set for yourself. Create as many goals as you would like. Now I'm going to go over the grand prize and how to be entered into the drawing. So this year's grand prize is a variety of items, including a canvas tote bag, exercise dice, a dinosaur ladle, a salad spinner, a strawberry holer, a vegetable scrubber, a leafy greens and herbs stem stripper, a coloring book, and colored pencils. To be entered into the drawing, you must complete and turn in at least one activity and one goal tracking sheet. A completed activity and goal tracking sheet equals one grand prize drawing entry. There are five activities and five goal tracking sheets you can complete for entry into the grand prize, for a total of five entries into the grand prize. The five activities are the enrollment activities, and then the activities for July, August, September, and October. The five goal tracking sheets are the June, July, August, September, and October goal tracking sheets. Please note that we will still be providing you with an activity and goal tracking sheet for both November and December, but these do not count towards the grand prize. So to submit your completed activity and goal tracking sheet, you can turn them into the community health workers at the farmer's markets or text, email, or mail it to me. Spe specific details can be found on this page. 
If you want to receive an extra grand prize entry, turn in your completed materials to the community health workers at the farmer's markets. So you can get an extra entry for every activity plus goal tracking sheet you submit for a total of up to five extra grand prize entries. So the maximum number of entries is 10. So for example, you text me a picture of your completed July and August activity and goal tracking sheets. This gets you two entries. Another example is that you turn in your completed July and August activity and goal tracking sheets to the community health workers at the farmer's markets, and this gets you four entries. So submissions must be received by October 31st and by October 15th if you're turning them into the community health workers at the farmer's markets. So please include your name on your submission so I know who turned them in and I will confirm with you that I've received your submissions. You, can't find the, you can find the activities and goal tracking sheets at the special events and on the participant information tab of the Prescription for Health website at washtenaw.org slash prescription for health. Next, we'll go over the pre-program survey. So please complete and turn in the pre-program survey. You can either complete the included paper pre-program survey and turn it into the community health workers at the farmer's markets or complete it via the link or QR code in the enrollment packet. So your answers help us evaluate and report on the Prescription for Health program. All survey answers will be kept private and thank you for filling out the survey. Finally, we'll go over the tokens. So in your packet, you'll find paper tokens. There are 100 tokens total, each one worth $1. So you have a total of $100 worth of tokens to spend. And each token has a code that is unique to you. So treat your tokens like cash and don't lose them. And there are five, to five tokens on each strip of paper. So each strip is worth $5. If needed at payment, you can separate the strip of five tokens into five individual pieces of paper. For example, if something costs $4, you can move one of the tokens from the strip of five, like this. If something costs $5, you can just pay with one strip of tokens. Tokens can only be used to buy fresh fruits and fresh vegetables and fruit and vegetable plants and seeds. They may not be used to buy other items like bread, jam, or honey. You can spend your tokens at any of the participating locations listed on the program summary sheet. They work at any of these locations. When you go to spend your tokens at the farmer's markets and farm stands, please keep in mind that farmers and vendors cannot give you change. For example, you could give three tokens and two quarters for something that costs $3.50, but if you give them four tokens, they won't be able to give you back change. You're welcome to give them four tokens, even if something is $3.50, but this is something to keep in mind as you're spending your tokens throughout the season. The farmers generally understand and might be willing to make try to work with you to try to get your full money's worth. In other words, maybe throw in a little something small or extra to try to get a full $4 worth of produce since they cannot give you your change back for tokens. You can spend as many or as few tokens as you would like at each transaction. You do not need to spend them all in one day. However, as it says on, the to on each of the tokens, these tokens expire on December 31st of 2022. Although this is when they expire, the farmer's markets and farm stands may close before this date. For example, if you look at the program summary sheet, the Chelsea Farmers Market on Saturday closes on October 29th, so this is the last day you can spend your tokens at this location. It's important to stay up to date with the farmers market and farm stands this year for schedule changes, and sometimes farmers markets add additional dates. If you are unable to make it to the participating locations to spend your tokens, you can send someone else and they can spend the tokens for you. We hope you will spend all of your tokens, engage at the farmers markets with the farmers and vendors and community health workers. When you spend your tokens, not only are you getting fruits and vegetables for yourself, but you're also financially supporting the farmer, your neighbor, who grew them. If you have leftover tokens you did not spend from previous years, you cannot spend them this year. Please return them to the community health workers. We had funding from previous years for those tokens. This year's funding only covers tokens given this year. Thanks for watching this video and joining me in going through the enrollment packet. I hope you were able to learn something new. I just want to remind you of a few important points that I shared throughout this video. Remember, you can spend the tokens at any of the markets listed on the summary sheet. And although the tokens expire on December 31st of 2022, be sure to check the last day of the farmer's markets and farm stands, as that would be the last day you could spend them at those places. Some farmer's markets and farm stands will close earlier than December 31st, 2022. Check for updates and stay up to date with details for each farmer's market and farm stand. Thanks for watching and welcome to Prescription for Health. Please contact us if you have any questions.